Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Morgan and welcome to today's video. So we had Harvester Fiona released to the event store last week and she is a reskin of the Harvester Sarah from the Into the Storm event. She is an absolutely awesome hero to play and I've been getting a lot of questions from people in my Discord, the comment section on my videos, asking, you know, what kind of perk setup should I have on my weapons? What type of hero setup should I have in my support and tactical? So I figured I would do a quick rundown of the setups and stuff I've been using and a general overview of the gameplay that this hero offers. Now, if you guys have something different from what I'm using, whether it's weapon perks or a support and tactical bonus, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to know what you guys are using. You might have seen something that I overlooked, and you really have a nice style of gameplay going for you. So talk it out with me in the comment section below afterwards, but let's get started. So harvesters are scythe-focused ninjas that cause snare with their attacks, and to be totally honest, they're one of the best melee characters in the game. They do offer a slightly different and and in your face playstyle, it's a very high risk, high reward type of gameplay, but once you get the hang of it, it's super fun and super rewarding. I'm going to go over her three main abilities, I'm not going to get in depth with these at all, I will talk about them a little later in the video, but her three main abilities are Smoke Bomb, Throwing Stars, and Dragon Slash. Moving on over to some hero setups, you obviously want a Harvester in your main slot, and then for the support, you can use either one, they have the same bonus, it's just a different hero. You can use another Harvester or you can use a Deadly Blade Ninja in support for the increased crit rating on your scythes. These are scythe-focused ninjas, they have crit perks, so buffing up that crit rating as much as you can with your support bonuses is going to help you out a lot. And then for the tactical, I run another Deadly Blade for their corrosion perk. The way this works is when you critical hit, you deal 15% of the hit's damage every second for 3 seconds and you reduce movement speed by 30%. So you can get in, get a big hit on the enemy, deal some damage over time, and slow them down for a little bit. Absolutely awesome and it really helps out when you're hitting those high health monsters like the Smashers. So I'm going to go over some perk setups. There's two different ways you can do this and it really depends on what style of gameplay you want. So first, this is if you wish to use your scythes on other heroes besides the Harvester. You can run crit rating in your first slot, movement speed or a perk of your choice in the second. I personally prefer movement speed. I like to be all over the battlefield, but I know some people like life leech, others like damage resistance. It's really up to you. You can use whatever element you want, crit damage in the fourth perk slot, and then the fifth is a perk that correlates with your sixth. I've seen a lot of people say it's better to have snare for your sixth perk and then damage to snared in the fifth, but Harvester causes snare already and it deals increased damage to snared targets. So if you guys can get a scythe with like affliction and then run damage to afflicted in your fifth, something like that would be even better. I know my good buddy Nylik has one for his Harvester. He of course has the snare and stuff from Harvester Sarah and Harvester Fiona, but he also has has an affliction perk on his scythe and damage to afflicted so he's hitting out some massive numbers with his scythe hits so if you guys want to go for something like that instead of investing all into snare damage you can do that the second setup is if you only wish to use your scythes on the harvesters you can run crit damage movement speed or whatever perk you want in the second whatever element you want another crit damage perk, and a perk that correlates with the six. The reason I offered both setups is because I know some people like to make their weapons useful by all of their heroes, and then there's other people that like to really focus on one weapon for one hero only, and make it to where that weapon is the utmost useful in that hero's hands. It's whatever you guys want to do. If you want to spec specifically for the Harvester, run the double crit damage, or you guys can make it useful by everybody and do crit rating and crit damage. The reason I say this is Harvester has pretty great crit rating without any weapon perks to boost it, so you guys can add a lot more muscle to your crit damage by running double crit damage perks, but it's all down to preference. I personally like using double crit damage, but I do have one or two sides for the crit rating and crit damage, so I can use them on a different hero. So sorry to ramble in this section, I just wanted to clarify that it's really down to what you guys want to do and the type of playstyle you go for. So speaking of playstyle, what is the Harvester all about? Harvester caters to a very up-close style of gameplay, focusing on slowing down targets with her scythe hits and then jumping away to either heal or move on to the next target. Her smoke bomb heals herself and her allies if they're close enough, so she does have some survivability while up in the fray, but like all ninjas, if there's too many bees or like the poison gas and stuff, this will be her downfall. You can't be up in their face and then be all up in the bees and stuff because you will get your health nuked in seconds. 
Harvester is also one of the very few ninjas that can actually take on smashers and other miss monsters solo with little to no difficulties. My personal favorite way of taking down a smasher is to run in, get a hit or two with the size that cause the snare, drop a slow field, and just dodge my way around working their health down. It makes it a lot easier when they're slowed even more than they are with just the attack activation. So if you guys can get in, get some hits, drop a slow field, the smashers are going to fall super easy. She does have throwing stars and dragon slash, both of which really aren't that great on her particular kit. Dragon Slash can be good for clearing out a group right on top of you, but it really just lacks range to do exceptional ad clear. And the Throwing Stars, they can be good for clearing a basic Husk or two if you're at a distance, or getting some damage on a Mist Monster as you're closing the distance to them. Ultimately, Harvester is a very fun and very different style of play, and honestly one of my favorite ninjas to play around with. Her side attacks can hit extremely hard if parked correctly, and she can make quick work of Mist Monsters as long as you're cautious. If you've never been a fan of melee gameplay in Fortnite, give the Harvester a go. She has changed my mind on melee gameplay, and she has become one of my favorite heroes to play regardless of the activity. She is viable in the high-end areas, she's great in the low-end areas, you can use her any where if you haven't tried out melee and you want a hero that excels in it definitely try out the harvester heroes they're an absolute blast and i can't recommend them enough but that brings us to the end of the video let me know your guys' setups your weapon perks all that type of stuff do you guys like specking for one hero in particular and making your weapons useful by everybody let's talk it out in the comment section below but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here once again my name is morgan thank you all for watching and i will see you guys next time